Welcome to the Penhook and Needles podcast, episode 355. It is Saturday, May 18th, as we are recording. I am Marlisha, also known as Lady Furtico. You had to think about that for a second, didn't you? Just say it. I'm Talia, also known as Franciscan Gypsy. Um, my voice, if you can't hear me, I apologize. I can't go much louder than this right now. I'm still getting over this cold I had for the last couple weeks. But I will do my weeks? best. It's been a couple weeks. Okay. Um, so I, I apologize if you can't hear me. I'll try to speak as loudly as I can. Um, we want to welcome all new and returning viewers. We have a black and red theme going. To the fun in the woman cave. If you are new, we're glad to have you with us, and we hope you find something you like so you'll return. And if you are returning, as always, we're glad to have you with us. And um, if you're in the shadows for whatever reason, please feel free to join the Ravelry group officially so you can be eligible for the prizes and the giveaways and things like that. And there's a lot of fun going on there. If you're on YouTube, like I said, you're probably watching on YouTube regardless, uh, please feel free to press the subscribe button on your right. Left. Left? Wait. It's on their right. It's on our left. That way. Okay. And the little bell that's next to us so you get a um, notification. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I guess we should go into what's in our mugs. Yep. And you have more projects. I do. Um, I don't have anything exciting in my mug today. I just have some spiced tea because this is another celebration weekend for us today. This weekend we're celebrating Davina's birthday, which was actually Wednesday, I think it was. It was Wednesday. Uh, the 15th. So we're going to be doing all the stuff that we do with birthdays. And so I just had, I wanted to have some chai tea. and um, uh, Not chai tea, spiced tea. Besides, it helps my uh, cold because it has vitamin C in it. So in my... This is what my daughter's head looks like mug. I have my spiced tea. And in my, this is what my head looks like mug. Um, I found, I wasn't reacting well to normal bouillon. Mm -hmm. It just wasn't agreeing with me. I guess I have a reaction to some one of the ingredients. Um, but some of the people from one of my support groups for us, MCAS suggested better than bouillon, which it basically looks like baby food until you reconstitute it. <laughs> it's really thick, kind of... Oh, no, I did add the salt. I thought I forgot yeah, you did. the salt. Yeah, it's a really thick, kind of goopy um, stuff. <laughs> yes, it, it looks like baby food it's uh, until you reconstitute it. Mm -hmm. But it's really good. This is, um, this particular one is organic. It's roasted chicken, uh, better than bouillon broth. And you have to refrigerate it afterwards. Uh, I've tried their clam broth and I've tried their vegetable broth, both of which are very good. So I'm looking forward to trying some of their other flavors um, because they have a lot. They have a garlic bre garlic one. They have. Yeah. I'm not sure. Right, I'm going to go with the garlic one. Garlic seems like it would be a little strong. Strong. Yeah. yeah. Um, For everybody involved. <laughs> <laughs> but they have a lot of different choices. Mm -hmm. um, this one's pretty good. You want to try? Turn it sideways here. Oh no, no, it's got too much salt in it. Oh, okay. D does it have a lot of salt? I did put a teaspoon of salt in. Was it? I'll taste it. Let's see what she has to put up with. Make sure you turn around again. I don't want you to get my cold. Okay. It smells really good. I can't smell it. Actually, this tastes about as salty as regular bouillon. It must not have had a lot of salt in it. They might not have because this was the organic one. Yeah, that that tastes about as normally as salty as regular bouillon because mm -hmm. I usually cut my bouillon a little bit with more mm -hmm. water because I find it to be too salty. Mm -hmm. So, okay, that's really good. Even with the extra salt. Mm -hmm. Well, you can actually kind of taste, I feel like I'm actually tasting like a roasted chicken right. flavor. Right, yeah, it feels like they actually maybe use bones or whatever, yeah. you know, from the chicken. Mm. I apologize. Okay, so we welcomed all our new members. We're going to go into stuff, <laughs> okay? More, uh, um, you know, just 
general administrati, as the, as the stuck in the zombies used to say. I'm sure they do still say that. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not up to date. I'm not. Okay, so um, my Lady Furnical Creations giveaway. I'm really happy to see so many people are doing that for my 200 uh, sales. I've passed my 200 sales milestone, which is thanks to you guys. I'm really happy about that. And so I'm doing a giveaway in the thread. I have not yet set up the one on Instagram because I still have to figure out the finer points of that. I have to talk to uh, Laura. She was going to kind of walk me through that. <coughs> she already told me, but unless I write it down, I forget. Mm -hmm. So I'll have to talk to her later. But the one that's in the thread for the worsted weight skeins, the large skein of Forever in Blue Jeans and the regular size skein of the Frozen is a set, is a bundle, and it's going to one lucky winner who I will uh, pick on June 1st. And, and then we'll announce it the following, that podcast after that. Now, I did notice that a couple people commented. I don't know if they just wanted to comment it, that they like the yarn. But if you want a chance at it, you need to go to my shop and say what you like in there so I know you want the yarn, okay? Um, because that's how I know you want it, because you've been to the shop and you looked. So, right. so those two people, um, two or three people, need to look and see if you do want the yarn. No pressure, okay? You've just been called out. You've just been called end. out. And, yeah, they... And never mind. Anyway, I just want to make sure that if you wanted the yarn, you knew that you had to do that. Okay. Um, no pressure whatsoever. It's a giveaway. There's no pressure. Okay. Um, I think I feel pressure. You would. Okay. Now, um, and I thank everybody who has said such nice things about it. So thank you very mm -hmm. much. I do want to talk again about uh, Gracie's mom, 62, her Evans, Evans House charity. Yes. For um, This is in Winchester, Virginia, and it deals from everywhere, from ba babies through high schoolers, and then it also supports adults in a different setting. And it's for people, ki kids who don't have a home to go, like they've been taken from their homes because of a bad family situation or, what, or whatever. Right, so it's very, um, a very worthwhile. Or I think it says, they said a couple situations where the family just couldn't support them. Right. Anymore. Well, they said they've actually dropped babies off on the doorstep and stuff. Yes. So yeah. So it's not just like mm -hmm. we're we're being mean and taking kids from you. It right. is some people who really can't afford to support their kids will sometimes just drop the kid off and go away because at least they know the kid's being taken care of. And toward the end of the podcast, we'll show you that we have had a massive donation. Mm -hmm. for both Evans House and um, Pregnancy Center. And I'm not just playing on here. I'm trying to find the thread because I know there are things I wanted to answer in the thread <laughs> that I didn't get to in person. Um, and I do apologize if I cough. I can't help it. I'm <laughs> I'll try not to cough too loudly if you have earbuds. Um, but my um, what I was saying about that is that this donation, that I've, it's two huge boxes, and this person has donated things that can go to Evans House and the Pregnancy Center because we do both of them. We really yes. appreciate that. And we'll talk about that more later. Um, upcoming, okay, well, the Yarn and I cap is not upcoming. I think it started. <laughs> the Mickey Mouse. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Disney along. And all those rules are in her group. And essentially, the groups that are involved, Cappy, ours, um, I think it's Heidi from Undead Yarn, Laura Concert, um... I can't remember the other one or two people. I'm sorry. I can't. Um, did was it? Uh, um. Hmm. Uh, the what's her face? Um. She does the uh the kit one, the big shawls. Oh, Darkfire Woman. Yeah, doesn't she? I, it might be. Yes, I think you're right. I think it is Darkfire Woman. So I couldn't remember her actual name. Yeah, that's uh, that's um yeah Darkfire Woman from um. Diary of Physicist Farm Gal Park podcast. It's because I was sitting there like, okay, I can't remember the podcast name, and I can't remember her rivalry name. I remember the cows, but... Yeah, I think that's the other one. So if you're in that group, you can multiply, you know. Yeah. So check out check out that. It's Disney-related. All the rules are in her group, okay? <laughs> and she has it beautifully set up over there, so you can mm -hmm. see. Now, Mom Cook, until the end of May, is hosting a Loom Along for her Sunlight Cow. Thank you, Beth, for giving me the name for that. Um... And this is really pretty in very bright colors, and it can also be used for autism awareness. That's one of our feature patterns mm -hmm. in that. Okay, so um, you can check out the rules in that group, Loom Knitting. If you haven't Loom Knitted before, you might want to try knits, that. Loom Knitted? I don't know. I don't think you say knitted. I don't know. Um, loomed is what they usually say. Is it? 
Uh, okay, so now the next one, a crocheting Whovian podcast group. That is Laura Concert. And she's got several longs going on. She has the creature feature, Cal Cal Lal, okay, and that she's doing that with Doc Fire Woman, Deborah. And um, you can see the rules in her group or in Deborah's group. And this quarter, I believe, is farm animals, okay? Uh, uh, she has themes every quarter, but you can do any amigurumi you want. It's just that you get double chances for the, the featured the, one. Yeah. The, the featured one, okay? Also in Laura's is the um, Life Changes Shawl and the Whippet, Whippet Cal, okay? So they're both ongoing, and you can check out the rules there. They both are a lot of fun. I need to get on the stick for the um, uh, Life Changes Shawl. But I'm, I'm trying to get something off the needles before I start. I don't know. I have to find my sevens. I don't know where my sevens are. They might be in a project. <laughs> so um, You do tend to use your sevens a lot. Yeah. So um, I'll be starting that as soon as I can. And then I do have things I've been starting to put in the Whip It, Whip It. So that's good. Okay. Now, um, in transitioning into the Diary of a Fist's Farm Cal podcast, Farm Gal podcast. What's a farm, farm Cal podcast? I don't know. Deborah will have to tell us. The Diary of a Physicist Farm Gal podcast. I'm not the only one who has trouble saying that. Um, she, She's funny. She, I, I need to get caught up with her so I can start putting things into her, her alongs because she's got a fun podcast. I just have been really pressed for time. And she's got the uh, Kidder Getter Done. Your appointments should start easing up a little bit now, though. Yeah. Uh -huh. The Kidder Getter Done. I like big shawls and I cannot lie. And Kay's shawl, the one that we're doing, the um, yes, that uh, that qualifies. It's twelve hundred yards. I need to. Uh, I need get to back to work. Yeah, I need the Dobbin wood. Oh, Dobbin wood. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm in the middle of the lace section, which is why it's sort of slowed down a little bit, just because I'm not a huge lace knitter, even though it's not hard lace. It's no. just well, I'm, I don't prefer lace. I'm just having trouble dealing with the seat stitch or whatever that is. Mm -hmm. Double moss stitch, whatever she calls it. Well, it, it's different in Britain than it is here. Yeah, and and so I. I think she calls it double moss. I think here it'd be called seed. Yeah, I think. I, I, yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna have to see if I can mark it or something because I, again, it's a dark yarn for, that I'm starting with and I can't see it. Right. So um, I'm having trouble keeping that straight. Once I get to that point, I think I'll be okay. I'm really tempted to do ribbing, but that wouldn't be her shawl. So. <laughs> Anyway, and so the big shawls. Okay, so you got the kidder getter done. I like big shawls, and I cannot lie. The farmer's almanac make along. Never have I ever, which is things you haven't done before. And the uh, creature feature, 2019, which I get with Laura concert. So these are all a lot of fun. She's got a ton of things going on. It's just, you know, a great podcast. If you want to take a look at that. Comfort and crafts. That's B Wing, who is Brittany, and she's doing. What are you reading? Tw um, I think it's 19 hats in 2019, 52 dishcloths in 2019, and color work. And I am so far behind. I know I have at least two or three hats to put in B-Wing's uh, hat thing. I'm finally caught up in putting things in her group. I've got the hats in there. Um, Sue, I, I saw your comments, like, I just haven't gotten around to responding to it, where you were like, I thought you did more than two hats. No, actually, I've finished, I've only finished, like, five projects this year, mm -hmm. maybe six, and only two of them were hats. I had finished a cowl. A Christmas stocking, a shawl, and then the two hats. Those can all go in color work, but they can't all go in the hats. Um, one, the shawl can't go in color work because it's this one. Right. And the uh, Diana's hat can't go in color work. Right. But most of the projects I have can go in color work, but See, they can't all go in hats. I have, I think I have three or four hats to put in Brittany's, um, her along. And the other thing I have is some mosaics and things, mm -hmm. some color work. And Sue, you are right insofar as I have a ton of hats <laughs> in the needles. I just haven't finished them all. <laughs> I have like three color work hats on the needles and then a fourth hat um, in my purse. So it, I have a ton of hats on the go. There it is. Not, oh, I'm sorry. I have four color work hats on the needles. I actually have a lot of color work on the needles, either mosaic mm -hmm. or regular color work. Mm -hmm. But I'm not working on them right now. <laughs> Are you on the part where you're actually working color work for the um, um, brain? I don't have a brain to work brain. on. The language and wardrobe hat. No, the people are not popping out yet. I have no. to go check and see what Beth was referring to. I told her when I wrote in her note, I said, I know I said something, but I don't remember what it was, and I don't know where I said it. So. Or maybe it was attributed to you, and it was actually me, because I know I was talking about my people popping no, out. No, but, but then I said something about, Someone had ad, had comment they were looking forward to see my pe people come out. And oh. I said something. I don't remember what it was oh, okay. or where it was. So 
Anyway, okay, so I'm sorry. Deborah, we always seem to get sidetracked when we're talking about your crafts. Or no, this is actually B Wings. Yes, Brittany. So, Brittany. Okay, I'm sorry. well, you know, Brittany, I'm not sorry. You, you sorry, can, not sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She can take the hit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hugs for Brittany. <laughs> okay. In the Bees Knees group, that is Vonnie, Studio Von Design, and that's 19 in 2019. Mm -hmm. Just 19, whatever. So, that's fun. I'll be lucky to have 19 projects in 2019. I think I only have seven this right now, or six, or something like that. I don't mean. I mean, I have more than nineteen projects, but I'm more than nineteen finished. Yeah, objects. I know what you mean. I, I I think I have seven right now or six. Yeah, and I've got a ton on the on the needles and hooks, but oh well. Okay, in the Never Cast Off podcast group, which is Deb's Destiny, who is Debbie, and Blue Yarn Always, who is Sheila, uh, they're doing the tracking stash, um, twenty nineteen, and the I think the Vega wrap might still be going on. I don't know what else is going on there because I'm, I go to the group when I watch the podcast mm -hmm. and I don't think they've added anything since, but you can check it out. They're a lot of fun to watch. I'm glad that they're doing it together more consistently because mm -hmm. they're a lot of fun. Uh, Vanilla Sock Pig podcast group, that's Vanilla Sock Pig with Stephanie. She's doing the multiple myeloma cal and I think that ends at the end of May, but I'm not positive. And she um, is doing she's co-hosting the autism awareness with us mm -hmm. so stephanie i hope you are recuperating after your surgery i hope you're yes. feeling better um and i hope it went well okay so um she's a lot of fun to watch too but she you know we'll see if she's going to be doing a i'd be surprised if she does a podcast right away yeah. <laughs> she, um undead yarn podcast group that's nitty girl who is heidi is doing a um i think it's called uh finish or frog it or frog it or finish it or something like that so um that's you know the UFOs that are sitting around, and it, she's another one. I usually go there when I'm watching her podcast, mm -hmm. and so I, I watched her last one. I checked it out there, but I don't have anything to enter yet, so I haven't been back in about a week. So I need to go and see what's going on. And she has rules in that, so all these places have rules for what they're doing. You can check it out and see what really it is. Like guidelines, anyway. Guidelines. Okay. Reference. Yes, reference. Definitely reference. I know. We have a drink here. Can't mm. see this through without a drink. Can't. Okay. Reference. I can't see it through without a drink. I know it, but I can't think of it right now because my brain's foggy. can't see it through without a drink, Johnny. Yes, yes. We did that reference before. You gave yes. me the same, um, the same uh, example. Uh -huh. Okay. Now, going into PHN, T, and Tales. This is a year-long Cal Cal. Our co-host is Cappy from the Yarn and I podcast, and we love having her. She's wonderful. She has donated a shawl kit. Well... She's donated a prize, a shawl kit prize, uh, for our mega prize for this. And she has given us very generous donations uh, in the um, in a dedicated thread in terms of coupons. Uh, I think one is a 20 or 25 percent off her shawl kit a, a coupon, and then I think it's maybe 15 or 20 percent coupon. For, I can't remember. It's in the thread. I have to go back and look because I use it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, she's got wonderful stuff, and she's been very generous with us as podcast group uh, and as you know, as people, as friends. And mm -hmm. so we are, are very happy to have her with us. Now this Cal Cal uh, Lal runs uh, January 1st through December 31st, huh. and the projects must be <clears throat> lit, 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 knit, luminate, or crocheted in our group. <clears throat> Cappy might be slightly different. We do accept previous whips, but they must be worked on during the time period, which, again, if you don't, you know, that's a whole year. You have plenty of time to at yeah. least work on it. Um, chatter and pictures are on the same thread. The whips must reflect the theme if you're using them, um, and that means they must be tied in some way, shape, or form to the theme of tea and or tales, tales being fiction, okay? And you can, like I said, you can ask us if you're not sure. You can look on Goodreads. You can look on Amazon. We want them to be full stories, okay? Chapter books, things like that, okay? Graphic novels are acceptable, all right? A novelizations, that kind of thing. One whip per project per week, the FO, whenever it's finished. Um, Franciscan Gypsy Designs patterns and Joanna Johnson's patterns. Uh, Mom, kick, Mom Cook patterns. Mom Kick, huh? Yes, crocheting Hoovian patterns and Studio Von Design patterns. Um, are featured for this if they're related to tea and or tales. Your Ma voice is actually getting better, Mom. Yeah. I feel like gunked up, though. You sound a lot better. Thanks. The, um, the featured yarns are my yarns and Cappy's yarns that are, um, you can, you know, if you use them and they're related to tea and or tales alone, that's ac acceptable for a prize, uh, for a double chance at a prize. And if it's, um, 
you know, if it's named after T and Tails itself, you know, it's it's some kind of reference like my, um, well, let me think, well, Captain America or something. Right. Okay. Um, or after T or something like that. Or if you find an Iron Man shell somewhere. <laughs> I have an Iron Man yarn. There we go. Okay. It's, it's an inside, inside joke. joke. Sorry. <laughs> um, and the, um, of course, if you ma if you marry a featured yarn with a featured pattern, you get three chances at a prize. You are responsible for yarn multiple posting, however, because I'm just barely keeping up as it is. Yes. With all the with all the posts, I'm excited to see all the. Yeah. Activity. Once we got past like a hundred members, it was like, okay, guys, you need to fend for yourselves for that if you want. Yeah. And we love it. We want. The oh more, yes. The more yes. members, the better. The more activity, the better. That's why we have super moderators. So that's exciting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, um, the. the Tag is PHNTNT, as in dynamite, mm -hmm. 2019 on Ravelry, and hashtag PHNTNT2019 on Instagram, okay? Uh, let's see here. And this quarter's prizes, we have a, a Plum Deluxe Purple Package going to a winner and a Mom Cook um, pattern, mm -hmm. which is really exciting. We're very generous. We're excited about that, okay? Um, autism Awareness, okay? This one... We're co-hosting with Zara Long, but we're co-hosting with Laura Concert, uh, who's a crocheting Hoovian, mm -hmm. uh, crocheting Hoovian podcast, and Vanilla Stock Pig. That's Stephanie from Vanilla Stock Pig podcast. And this is April first through June thirty. Thirty says September April, June. April first through June thirtieth. Okay, so we're about halfway through, and the rules are basically the same with the caveat that it has to be brightly colored. For mm -hmm. us, at least three quarters of the yarn is brightly colored. Um, blue is also a featured color because that's an autism awareness color as well. Sparkles are good. Okay, Sparkles are good, Sparkles are good for this. <laughs> um, we have uh, featured, okay, the, first of all, the tag is PHN AA2019 on Ravelry and hashtag PHN AA2019 on Ravelry on Instagram. And let's see. Okay, I'm not going to go through the rules because it's basically the same. Our autism awareness colorways are makes me happy if you're happy and you know it and follow your star. Now, any brightly colored yarn of mine is still eligible for two chances at a prize, but those are especially, you know, mm -hmm. okay. Um, and uh, let's see. Uh, la, 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 la. We do have featured patterns. I'm just trying to find where it is here. I'm sorry, guys. I'm a little bit... Okay. Okay, so any Franciscan Gypsy design, any Lady, for Cre Lady Fernico Creations pattern, my shawl, uh, anything brightly colored in Lady Fernico Creations yarn, especially autism awareness color, eh? any brightly colored plan uh, pattern by Laura Concert, the featured pattern, Jack B. Nimble Blanket by Lumnit, uh, Lumnit by uh, Renee, who's mom cook, and her sunlight cowl, and featured Miss World Patterns, and I meant to check out her coupon code, and I got so busy that I forgot. Right. So, um, anything like well, that. You had a lot of appointments this week, didn't you? I had a lot of things going on. Yeah. So, you can do any, uh, so any of those have double chances at a prize, and if you marry the yarn and a featured pattern, it's three chances at a prize, okay? So, basically the same stuff. Um, I'm liking all the stuff I've seen. I have tried to post this week, I think two out of the three cows, I posted some feedback. I'm posting things that are two months old. I do apologize. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe I should go mm -hmm. backwards. But anyway, I like everything. It's amazing. You guys are awesome. Okay, the last one is the Sparkle Like the Star You Are, Cal Cal Lal. And this ties in, I mean, all of our cows tie in with um, the Disney along that Cappy's doing. It, you can make it tie in. And the Sparkle Like the Star You Are can also tie into autism awareness if you do bright colors. Okay? As can the tea and tails, actually. Mm -hmm. You can you can make them work, okay? So this is for sparkly yarn. And that, you know, what can... Just sparkly yarn projects, okay? Um, and it runs April 1st until June 30th, so it's literally in tandem with the autism awareness. And let's see here. The tags are PHN Sparkle 2019 and hashtag PHN Sparkle 2019 on Instagram. And let's see here. 
If your week is less full, I need to make sure. I was thinking about Davina's Christmas stocking that I want to do with the sparkle. And then I started thinking about my Christmas stocking I'm currently working. I need to give you right, <laughs> the right. yarn so you could dye me some more, not quite a pug. Right. Because this is absolutely had something to do with what we were talking about. But, you know, okay. stream of consciousness. Okay. So, okay. So, um, the featured yarns, Any Lady Furnicle Creation Sparkle Yarn is two chances at a prize. Three chances at a prize for the FO using my Follow Your Star Sparkle Yarn. Okay. The featured patterns are um, any Franciscan gypsy design uh, in the sparkle yarn, any of my patterns in the sparkle yarn, I have one, <laughs> um, any of Laura Concert's patterns um, in the sparkle yarn is also for, um, you know, two chances at a prize. And if you have that with my Follow Your Star, because that's a special for this particular along, this is the one where you can get four chances at a prize with the follow your star yarn for the finished object okay so featured pattern with the follow your star gets you four chances at a prize for the FO so that's pretty cool I think um, alright let's see everything else is the same for there and I'm not going to go into this stuff right now the coupon code for PHNers who are, mem who are members of the Ravelry group for 20% uh, off is listed in the pre-orders thread and I think it's also listed in the AA um, th um, thread and the sparkle like the star you are that I think there's a coupon code that's good let's see until May 31st um, for those who are not members of the Ravelry group and it's for 15% off and that's AA sparkle 15 that's good till May 31st the one for Ravelry group members is 20% uh, off and that's good until the end of June okay all right um, I guess that's it, unless you have something to nope. say. Nope, and Mom has six projects to my three. Okay. So you better take a nice big swig of tea. <laughs> Although I do think that tea must be helping your voice a little bit, because you sound better than you did at the beginning of the well, podcast. Well, spice tea has tang in it, and that's got some vitamin C mm -hmm. in it. Mm. Okay. In my... Let's see. I think it's in this bag. Yes. In my Knitting's My Bag, Owl's in the blue blue sky, blue leaves, what do you want to call it bag, is my Yowza, way at three, and this is the follow your dream, and I think I only did one or two rows on this. In fact, you're going to see the projects that you're seeing, you're only going to see a little bit of pro uh, progress on most of these because um, my hand was acting up a little bit, so. Well, we had some, we have some weather coming Some weather, in. and I, yes, I, I've seen the doctor, I'm on medication, I also have a bone spur in my thumb, so sometimes that acts up. Mm -hmm. um, but I did some of this, so I I like this yarn. It's pretty, and I like the way the shawl. And you're even holding it right. I always hold it right. Well, sometimes you hold it upside down. I do that on purpose. Oh, okay. I'm okay. sorry. I didn't realize that your wrong way of doing things was. On I purpose. also like the backward side of, of you. Do, you sometimes. do. She's she's like looking at her front her front side. I'm like I like this. <laughs> <laughs> it's like well, how will we show everyone else what you're liking? So that's. It's like when a little kid is waving, but they wave this way. But yeah, like that. Okay, so that's that. And let's see, my next one is because I have a gazillion projects on here. But oh yeah. Okay, in my Valeria bag. Oh, I forgot to do my. Um, I'll do it as soon as I, as you do one project. I'll do the autism awareness facts. Oh okay. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> This is my um, On Cloud Night project from the Lala Simple Shawl Pattern by Laura Linneman. And I did, I think, I think I did one or two rows on this. And I'm really getting close to having to start another ball of yarn. You're getting very close? Yeah, see I've got this much left on. Do you see that? Yes, I can see that. So this one, I really like this. And I've got the blue one Talia made because she doesn't like the shape. Yeah, it, it is not one that works for me. It was very fun to knit. I love this. But it's not a shape I go. enjoy wearing. So it's moving along. And I I hope I have this finished by next Christmas. <laughs> um, that would be really pretty for Christmas. It would. So La Laura makes a very nice shawl. And I would not hesitate to make this again. Whether or not I do it immediately is another thing because I have so many things I want to finish. Mm -hmm. And then I think once I finish most of the stuff I have, I'm going to try to keep my whips down a little bit. <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm still going to have a lot of whips, but I don't need to have 40 things. I mean, every single one of my bags, I think, is full of something. 
Some of them are just balls of yarn that I, I rip back. Mm -hmm. But okay, so that's that. And the and the yarn is um, bear yarn from Heidi in the um, bulky weight. Okay, and Heidi's undead yarn. Yes. So in my because you've done two, mm -hmm. in my uh, plover bird creepy llamas bag. Um, is my um, alternate spring hearts project. The pattern is Off With Their Heads um, by Faye Kennington. And this was the pattern that I had finished um, in, well, our alternate colors. I had used for that one um, the, whoops, not that. The pink is the bottom. Oh no, it was the yellow as the bottom, the pink and the right. blue um, as the color work section. And this really didn't pop enough for my liking. So, Davina's claimed the other one. We'll see if she still decides she likes it. If she doesn't, when she tries wearing it, I'll wash it and I'll give it away. I'm wondering if you should have started with this and had these two. I think this, uh, these two will be together. No, I said I wonder if you should start it with this and then these two. I mean, that could have worked too. Mm -hmm. But I think this will work just fine. Oh, I'm sure it will work. Because I took a picture um, with them next to each other, and these these two are going to be bright enough together. Uh, or this is going to be enough of contrast. So, and it'll be very different. Well, I think I wanted the pink for the hearts. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. That's what it was. I wanted the pink for the hearts. That's why I kept this where it was. No so, blue hearts? No blue hearts. Or yellow hearts? Um, so, I think it'll be, I'll like it a lot more with um, that contrast being more obvious. And this ribbing is supposed to be for three and a half inches. So we are continuing on. This and is, on. This is not anywhere near three and a half inches. I think that might. Two inches maybe. Maybe two inches. Let's see. Yeah, almost two inches. Mm -hmm. Not quite there. I, th I thought it looked maybe like that. I think about another third to go. Mm hmm I mean, it's not that it's a problem. It's nice mindless knitting, but then you're like, yeah, yeah, get the color work with her because her patterns, they flow very easily when you're knitting them. So, but that's all I have to say about that. Mm. Before I go into more projects, I did want to give you some real quick kind of bullet facts about autism autistic spectrum disorders and this the reason I'm doing this one kind of out of order is because um, <laughs> it's the shortest section <laughs> and this comes from um, autism citizen website now disclaimer I don't know anything about them yeah okay and they say every person with autism is completely unique like snowflakes no two are alike and each one has his or own individual characteristic behavior and habits this um, and then it lists a common traits that may affect autistic persons. It's important to know that not all these traits will be found in every person and some may have severity of one trait and little or no sign of others. Each person must be individually evaluated but will get but will generally be consistent will generally be consistent in the areas they exhibit. Now some of these also like some of Davina's things aren't on here. But but Davina also has other things going on. She does. As, on top of that. Okay, learning and education. These are the the bullets that they gave for this. Um in varying degrees. Exceptionally high skills in some areas and very low in others. Excellent rote memory in some areas. Difficulty with reading comprehension can quote an answer but unable to predict, summarize, or find symbolism. This is one that really hits hard for Davina. Mm -hmm. Difficulty with fine motor activities, coloring, printing, scissors, gluing, that shouldn't have any trouble with that. Short attention span for most lessons. This is obviously at school age but she has a short attention mm -hmm. span for most things. Resistance or inability to follow directions. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. Um, especially as she's gotten older because she's very intelligent and mm -hmm. she realized that she should be able to do other things. Difficulty in transitioning from one activity to another in school. And this, in school it was easier because I had them on a timer. And mm -hmm. since I started her really early, she knew that a timer meant she had to go on to the next thing. Mm -hmm. She knew she had to close her books, go on to the next thing. Because people used to ask me, well, how do you get her to finish her work and not be schooling all day because even even kids with quote unquote no disabilities no special needs they were having trouble some of these people they finish one class and have you know 10 they didn't get to I said you have to have a timer 
or we had to have timer and they closed it when the timer was done and that was homework and in general they'd finish you know the majority of their stuff and they might have homework one or two things maybe and once I got older and I was doing it myself I think it was a lot worse what I wasn't as good about adhering to the timer when um, yeah. I was managing myself well yeah but level. see but that that that's the way it was supposed to be yeah but with Davina and people like her it was a lot better to have a, a set mm -hmm. timer because her idea and concept of time is non-existent. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, her 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 concept of time flow is non-existent, and that comes up later on. But um, I just wanted to give you some, since this is an autism awareness mm -hmm. <laughs> along, I thought I'd give you a little something to think about, and that's that. Okay. Now, my project. Two projects. Two projects. All right. In my Mama C words, words, words bag. Thank you, Christina. Mm -hmm. She made this bag for me. It was a surprise, and I love it. I still have my name on it. <laughs> Mine finally, my name finally, finally fell off. But I'm a lot rougher with my bags than you are. This is my Lady Caprice project from the Terra the Sea Turtle Pattern by Italia. And I'm not going to finish this until Tortoise versus Hare. <laughs> so I'm, I work on the shell. You can see I've done a few. I, I, this is actually what I wanted to work on. You can see I've got three rows of that green. That's a really pretty green. I think that's your villainous. It might be my villainous. It looks kind of like my villainous. Because it's a little bit heavier than this other DK. I'm thinking that might yeah, be worse. Yeah, I think it's a villainous. It sure looks like it. And this, and see, this, is, the, uh, this is the side you should be looking at. <laughs> there. Yeah. So that's where I'm at. I'm, st I'm going to be starting the decreases on this. And I just love this. This colorway up here is Cappy's Lady Frenico colorway. Because I wanted to make sure I kept it. And she gave me some more of this in the DK for my shawl. So. Cappy spoils me. <laughs> so, thank you, Cappy. The other yarn, the greenest villainous, I believe. Let me see. Yeah, there it is. No, it's not. It's not. It's um, dragon, no, it's not Dragonfly. Let me see. Terra. Dragonfly. DK Fire. Marigold Jen uh, Worsted and Dragonfly Worsted. Uh, does Dragonfly do the villainous? Yeah. Okay, then it is Dragonfly. Okay. Yeah. And then Marigold Jen is in the. Um, I don't think it's uh, the dragonfly's worsted. Is it this tangerine speedo? But I'm, I mean, I don't think the dragonfly's worsted. I don't think it was worsted when I picked it up. She okay. had the worsted at that point. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, it's a little thinner. Okay, so it feels a little bit heavier than a normal DK, but so that's the color they'll be using the third color. So that's fun because she didn't have a worsted until recently, and I've had that uh, yarn for a long time. Okay, um, my other one is in my Knitting's My Bag, Faith, Hope, and Love small sock bag. And this one I'm going to actually be tearing out, and I'm not sure if I'm going to restart it. I started the cables, and I was working on this in the, I think I was working on this in the, the doctor's store. office or the bookstore, and somehow I got the stitches mixed up. And it was I just, in the bookstore, because I was trying to help you figure it out. Yeah, I so I, I, I'm going to tear this out, and I'm not sure I'm going to restart it. Mm -hmm. At this point, I love the pattern. But you're not sure that's what you need to work on. But I'm, it's not. Yeah, I'm not sure it's what I want to be working on right now. So um, this is the Owls Have It pattern from the Hoot Hoot pattern by Cheryl Beckenrich. And like I said, I'm using US sevens. Unfortunately, these are 16 um, <laughs> inch. I can't use them for my shawl. But um, you can see that I was starting the cables. And I don't know if you can tell here. Somehow. You, they can't really tell, but basically she didn't, she dropped one of her stitches that she's planning on cape. See it right here. See and it. I was able to fix it to a certain extent, but we're going to actually have to tear it back. So I probably just start it over again if I do that. But at the moment, it's just going to be probably teared out, torn, teared out. Teared out, huh? Teared out. Torn out and put in time, uh, time out for a while. Because this is the one that I said I wasn't going to make the block. I was just going to do the owl and then knit. Mm -hmm. And then do another owl on the other side reversed, mm -hmm. so I could have a, the shawl, uh, the scarf, scarf with the owls on it. So it's not a, you know, I'm not overly concerned about when I get to that. So <coughs> in my uh, Mitter's Magic brown bag with kitties on the inside, did you just pet my bag? I did. It's soft. <laughs> I want it to. Meow. Meow. They're not persnickety. Mm -mm. Not like a certain MPKC. 
Leave MPKC out of it. She doesn't like to be called MPKC. I know she doesn't. She's personally that way. So this is another... Her namesake's brat. What do you expect? <laughs> this is um, Cathedral Grove. And the pattern is by um, Faye Kennington again. I, again, have to... It's about the same... <laughs> about the same length as the other one. Also have to go to three and a half inches. Not there yet. I thought that one was three. No, it's the same thing. Three, oh, like okay. three and a half. Okay. Um, and this is brown for the. Um, you said this is roasted bean. pumpkin. Roasted pumpkin. Uh huh. This is just green, and this is d d d d d. It's a different yellow than the other one. This is buttercup. Hi, little, little buttercup. buttercup. <laughs> yes, that's a reference. Cause. Let's compare the two yellows. The other one's like brilliant right. yeah. in comparison to this one. It's the same. It's These are all, yeah, see, very different. Yeah. Not very different, but different, different enough that, because this other one is sun yellow. So. I'll get a bright yellow for my shelf up there. That's a bright yellow. Mm -hmm. The one with bumble, bumble, bumble. Yeah. Bumbly. But this one, these are both shepherd's wolves. Mm -hmm. It's just, so the same yarn, just different colors. Right different shades okay you done with that one yes all right moving along okay whoops Is a bunny he is take your drink I was putting my yarn take away your drink okay my next project is in my mama see owl bag thank you Christina drink it's the Christina owl show Christina Owl Show. Remember the it's the, the yeah time <laughs> movie. Christina's cute. This is my Biddy the Bashful Baby Ooh. Turtle, and again, this one will be waiting until the the, the yeah. turtles to get finished. I'm just doing enough work so I can actually finish them in the tortoise versus hare. That sounds like cheating to me. Uh huh. So this is um, September the Baby Turtle from the Biddy the Bashful Baby Turtle pattern. I started it last year and didn't finish it, so I don't think you're in any danger. Um, I think the only turtle I finished was that little one up there. <laughs> I think it was. <laughs> but you um, were having severe hand problems I was. last year. So this one is also, you know, actually this is kind of similar colors to the other one. I know, I was just thinking that. Look at this, the green. Yeah. It, and then this gold. So it's very similar in the colors, which is kind of funny because I, I didn't plan. Maybe that's the little brother. Yeah, maybe. And this is the one I'm going to be flipping if I have enough of this. I think this is dragonfly fibers and sheep. Mm -hmm. um, if I have enough to make the shell, I'm going to flip the bottom two mm -hmm. colors. And that, that way I'll have two of them mm -hmm. on my bed. <laughs> That's going to be like, what's with all the turtles? <laughs> as long as it gets rid of the ugly dog, he'll be happy. <laughs> I mean, he walks over the great big gigantic <laughs> bookworm that I... <laughs> The bookworm is supposed to like knock out the draft in the room. A lot of times he acts as a uh, doorstop, doorstop, or a tripper. Yeah, he he's supposed to be a little thing though. Where is he? Um, the original. Well, I guess well you don't have, have one. Uh, my the original, original one is supposed to be much bigger than this. The the original one is actually that yeah. long. Is it that big? Mm -hmm. It's about that long. Yeah, and is about that. This well, mine is big. like oh, hers is huge <laughs> and it's fat as all get out. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I think it ate a couple of other uh, bookworms in its process of becoming. It is not, in fact, a cannibal. It's your turn. So, the last project for me is in my Avengers Silver Shed USA bag. Hawkeye. Yep, th that is Clint. I don't like that costume, though. Well, at least it's not the other one where with the, he... With the... Yeah. Well, they said it was supposed to be... I was reading something about Hawkeye and watching something about Hawkeye, and they said that was his, supposed to be his circus costume. Because he used to be a circus performer. <laughs> I didn't realize that. Yeah, yeah. Um, he, he used to do trick archery. Mm. But um, in here is Mom's Horsey. Uh, Pony. Mom's Horsey. Pony. This is... From the pattern Sparkle the Unipony, um, designed by me. Did you finish that since the last time? Oh, no. Um, here's the head. It looks like Raphael. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is the upper body. Aw. Um, then 
This is the muzzle with the two ears. He's getting close. And let's stuff that back in there. What weight are you using, DK? Sports. Sports, excuse oh, yeah. me. Uh, this is a lot smaller than Senna. Yeah. Um, well, also, also, Mom, your toys end up a lot bigger than mine anyway. Well, my gauge has changed, though, too. Yeah. Um, because this wasn't worsted weights. I'm pretty sure this wasn't I worsted. I think that was DK. Yeah. That's Marigold. It might have been. I'll have to check, because that's Marigold Jan. I can check. But um, that was the one that was a special yarn. Yes. That you couldn't get anymore, because yep. I gave you my skein. Yeah. So you can complete your horse. Right. You rub. Because she was doing for autism awareness or something. Or some children's disease. It was disease. some children's disease. It wasn't yeah. autism. Yeah. Um, I feel like it was cancer. It might have been. Um, but here is the um, long part of the horse. Right. Um, and then after that point... The caboose. I'll, yes. After that point, all I have to do is legs and then start worrying about the legs. mane and tail. Legs. Leg. <laughs> That's a reference, so. too. And it's got some work on it. Okay. Um, okay. My last one? I thought you said you had six. I thought I did have six. One, two. Did I forget to pull one out? Maybe you're counting your FO. Well, I'll show this and then we'll get to the FOs. No, well, we'll show this one, but then I'll look and see if I missed something. Yeah. Okay. In my Silver Shed USA Tortoise vs. Hare 2017 bag by the lovely, lovely Ann Brody is my Bobbing Along baby blanket. And this one, as m many of you know who watched this for a while, you know I had changed this from um, a pattern to just a straight because my hands couldn't handle it. Not because I don't like the pattern. The pattern I was using that I was adapting, I've used almost 20 times. Yeah. I love it. It's by Sarah Sweethearts. And it's a wonderful pattern. But this, I couldn't handle it for my hands. So I'm just doing a straight double crochet for this baby blanket. And you can see that I'm you know, making progress through the ball. I must have used a lot of yarn for this because, I don't know, maybe not. But anyway, I'm, I'm probably about maybe a quarter to a third through this. I'm mm -hmm. going to go as much as long as I can to make this a decent baby blanket. And then if I have one left over, I might give the yarn a surprise. Or I might mm -hmm. give it to Davina or whatever. Because it is a worsted weight. She can use it. Yeah. She might use it for her um, charity scarves. Yeah. What does she call them? She calls them... Um, Mr. Wendell. Mr. Wendell. Shaw. And if you know that reference, I'll be impressed. Yeah. Okay. Let me just see if I forgot anything. Um, sometimes, like last time I skipped one. But I don't have a... I don't have an extra. You have an extra bag. I don't have an extra bag. So. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh gosh. Um, let me see mm. here. One. Two. You said you weren't sure. Three, four. Five. Six. I guess I had. Yeah, I had six. Okay, so let's see which one you showed the follow your dream. I must have shown three at once. Two, you four. You did? No, I've got... Yeah. Which one? One, two, three, four, five, six. I, I showed six. Did you show three and we didn't realize it? We, it must have been the one that we kind of got sidetracked. Or maybe the one where I did the autism awareness. A uh, little interlude. I might have got interrupted. Because here's two, three, four, five, six. Oh, okay. So I don't remember you showing six. I don't either. Okay. Okay. All right. So what now? Um, they usually leads something like my glasses on FOs. Okay, so we both have FOs. And they might as well come out together. They might as well. Let me just get to where I'm at here. Because I kind of feel like they're related. Yeah. Because they're started around the same time. Let me just get to my FO before you get there, okay? Okay, okay FO. All right. And they've kind of been talking to each other back and forth the entire time. Yes. Although yours is more of an attitude problem. Mine does not have an attitude problem. MPKC totally has an attitude problem. She does not. My name is not MPKC. <laughs> Here's Felicia. Um, so they're finished. I want to see if the gauge changed much. Not too much. She's no. a little smaller. Not, no, really. She's she, about the same size. She's a little shorter, but I think not part much. of it's the way you place the legs. It might be. 
Because his legs are a little closer together yeah. and hers are farther apart, which make her shorter. So, eh. these uh, are, this is from the Brat Pattern by Talia. Oops, whoopsie. Come here, baby. All right. There you go, Snickerdoodles. <laughs> there. Okay. So. And this is um, from the uh, Terra the Sea Turtle uh, pattern, also by me. The, uh, she's going to go in my office and she's going to sit on a shelf with her flippers and head hanging down. <laughs> and this is probably mom's favorite part about my sea turtle pattern. <laughs> so, so she is very bright, bleed your eyes bright. Mm -hmm. um, this is makes me happy. And then mom dyed the green and the pink for me. Uh, so I could have this turtle. Yeah. So this is a complete Lady Furnico, uh Creations yarn turtle. And this is my kitty. This is going to be going into the uh, um, creature feature and you know, other things like that. So yeah. I like the way she turned out. The yarn for this is um, Old Time Yarns, Polworth DK in the... This Cat's Got Nine Lives, I think is what it's mm -hmm. called. And then um, I think this is my... Now, I justified this for color work for uh, Brittany's. Why? Oh, well, I can do this for color work. Yep, exactly. Too. Cool. Because, I mean, technically you're doing color work. It's just a little bit of color work, but it's, it's color, color work. color work. So I might have to do that. How do you think about that? She says yes. She deserves to be in all the alongs. Well, MPKC attitude problem. Not MPKC3. MPKC3? <laughs> MPKC one and two? Good heavens. I don't think the world can handle that many MPKCs. She's so cute. I think I stuffed her well this time, too. I think you did, too. Put her over here. But yeah, um, I've, it's been about time that I have another toy in my office. Yeah. It's been a while since I put a new one in there. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so that leaves this bag free. Because there are still coworkers who oh, here. see the the first. Oh, this is the um, color. So you could have actually done without the white, probably. Probably, mm -hmm. maybe, but I don't want to. It's hard to judge with my gauge. Yeah. I, this is almost all white, uh -huh. as, as is this one. These just have a little bit. It would have been close. So. And I really like that pattern a lot. So. Next to the owl, it's probably my favorite. You do uh, make it a fair yeah. amount. The you have three. This is the one you should have... Comp <laughs> I think your gauge has changed. No, no, that's like not brat. Yes, it is. Is it? Yeah. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> okay. But I think that one's worsted. That might be worsted. Oh, no, so oh that's Miss Babs. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And you uh, also stuffed it. Yeah, a little uh, differently. A little differently. Three generations of brats. MPKC. <laughs> MPKC in France. Yeah. And this is Snickerdoodles. And that's Patches. Patches, yeah, yeah. I think you're right. So. Yeah, because Patches was your original one. That's the one you did for the test. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah, I do this one, this one, Biddy, and the Owl probably the most. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's anyone else that I do no, not quite really. as much. I mean, I've done a couple. Yeah, because this is the original cat that you were thinking of. No, this is. I have three cats. Oh right, mm -hmm. Selena. That's this one, which is this one here. Mm -hmm. I just made a small version. Yeah, this is. Um. Uh, Brat, and I don't see your Siamese. Um, Bastet. She's around here somewhere. Oh, you know what? She's here. Yeah. Her head's a little heavy. Yeah, she's tired. <laughs> I'm tired now. <laughs> Yes, and we're, we're a little reference heavy this time. Okay. All right, so what else? Episode's called Reference Heavy. Mm. Okay. Play about my handwriting. Hey, your okay. handwriting's a lot worse. Mm -mm. You can't even read your handwriting. I can read it. What, what is that after the T? Is that an H? H. Because it doesn't look like an H. Yes, it, it looks does. like an L. <laughs> <laughs> Beth, your name is B E T L. Betel. Betel. <laughs> hey, that's kind of like a cool name. Betel. Betel. 
I like I like Beth. She's hysterical. Okay. All right. So she sounds like a warrior queen or something. The warrior queen, queen, queen of, the, of the loom knit tribe. tribe. What? No, the loom playpen. <laughs> What do we call that? We, we, that's just what we call it, the loom penny pen. Okay, anyway, moving on. Next. Um, is it shop or is it... Shop. Okay. Um, I've been doing a, a fair amount of dyeing. I put in... I put up some um, of the pre-orders. Sunshine's already got hers. Laura and Allison, yours are done. I have to put labels on them so I can list them. Um, so I will show you some of the stuff here. Let's see. Okay, now, the rest of these are not skeined yet. I'll show them to you in a second, but this one is for... Um, this is Allison's, so Allison, as soon as I get a chance, I will go ahead and list this for you. And this is Sparkle Like the Star You Are. It is a Stardust Fingering Sock. No, I'm sorry, Follow Your Star. Okay. And unscanned, it looks like this. This is the second skein I did. So she just needs to rescan that. Okay. Um, just give me a second here. I'll probably shouldn't have taken this one apart because it was hard to get in <laughs> the first time around. Okay, and this one is Drama Queen 7. This is a limited edition. Um, I made it for Davina, and Laura said she wanted it, so I made one for her. And when I made one for her, I made one to put in the shop. Okay, so this is the unrescained of this. And this is not the comic base? No, this is the um, Stardust base, mm -hmm. and this is a DK weight. Okay, I believe that's what she wanted. So let me see. DK base. So this is um, Drama Queen 7. And if you remember, I have a Drama Queen and not quite a Drama Queen as well. Mm -hmm. This is Davina's actual colorway. Mm -hmm. And so, Laura, I will put this up when I put Allison's up. I just have to get it posted because uh, it's going to be a little busy this weekend with Davina's birthday. But mm -hmm. I'll try and get it up soon. They are done. Just get this re-twisted. Okay. That takes care of this. Where's the... The what? The other follow your star. There was only one follow your star. No, there's two of them. Oh. Did you already send it off? No, I just said I was going to send it to Allison. What did I do with it? Oh, there it is. Okay. All right, so that's that. Now... This one, I was trying to make another Joker. And I, I said, you know, okay, Joker's wild. And I tried a different way, thinking that it would be mm -hmm. the same difference. It wasn't. So now I have, makes me happy, the Joker. And this is the Riddler. Mm. Okay? This is this really makes... I looked at Riddler pictures, and it some of them are more purple. Mm -hmm. But some of them... It's the bright green that really makes me think of the Riddler. Right. And this is the... Um, and this is the way it looks on okay unrescained okay so this is a um also on the comet base and uh, not the comet base the um stardust base mm -hmm. fingering sock and this is the riddler as is this and it will be up when i um get a chance to put it up i'll be putting it up a little at a time Okay, now a couple others to show you real quick. This was meant to be Talia's, and I realized that although this is not quite a pug, what I do for Talia is a slightly less Light. saturated mm -hmm. one. So this is not quite a pug, and it will be going up in the shop. This would be really good for color work mm -hmm. or for a neutral. And this is a DK weight. But it's just a little bit darker than what she's been dyeing me, yeah. and I need it to match what I'm currently working. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with this skein. It's just not quite the color I made her before. I, ha I have to um, ease back on the dye to, dye to the skein um, ratio. ratio. So this is not quite a pug, and it'll be going up soon once I rescan it. 
And this one has been rescanned, and this is called Goldenrod. Okay, and this is a DK. And when I asked Davina, she said she name it C3PO. Well, Goldenrod is C3PO's nickname, so yes. staying uh, Goldenrod. And I had thought about pot of gold, but I didn't want to pigeonhole it to any particular season. Yeah. So this is Goldenrod. The reference is to C3PO. So. It's a DK weight, and I can make this again. Mm -hmm. I just have to make sure I copy it my really, recipe. It's a really pretty color. Right? It is. I finally got my gold. The Strata gold is a little bit paler than mm -hmm. this. Um, this one is more of a true gold, so I'm happy about that. And I got it by accident. I was just playing around with, you know, how would this look and how would that look, and I wrote it down on the ball band, so I had to make sure I uh, put it down in my notes, otherwise I won't be able to do it again. Yeah. So that's what I have. Um, for yarn, I also am playing around with a colorway for um, our dysautonomia and cardiac. Mm -hmm. What I call it? What do we call it last time? Cardiac dysautonomia. Uh, I think it was just yeah, cardiac dysautonomia awareness. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. So I've I've got a a colorway almost perfected for the cardiac or for the dysautonomia portion of it. And I have a name for it and everything, but I'll show it to you when I decide that it's Done. ready. And Talia liked the color. I, I just want to maybe tweak it a little bit, and then um, we'll do that. Mm -hmm. you know, so that'll be good. Okay. Um, let me put these all in the bag again. What do you? Ha you let's see, let's There's this. nothing more on my end. Okay. Let me just put this in the bag. I should have probably put the ones that were already restrained on the... M.P. Casey needs to come over here and play. Her name is not M.P. Casey. She says when you call her, her name, she'll come. She won't come anyway. She's a she cat. Won't. She likes um, the turtle. What's the turtle? Felicia. Felicia. <laughs> she likes Felicia, but she's, she wants to be called by her name. Mm -hmm. But that is her name. Her name is not M.P. Casey. M.P. Casey. She'll sit there then. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Come on. Say... Her name. M.P. <laughs> Casey. She's staying there then. <laughs> okay, I'll snag her later. Mm. Okay, so we're moving on to... Do we want to do the hats first? Or we want, that's a lot of stuff. Um, we really don't have much else other than the hats. My, my exposition's from Mother's Day. Okay. Um, we can do that. Let me do Mother's Day real quick, because we'll I think there's less of that than there is the hats. <laughs> Hiya, Alicia Fernandez. <laughs> I have M.P. Casey. <laughs> Her name is not M.P. Casey. Her name is <laughs> M.P. Casey. She's going to scratch you. Know, just like a certain Neff. I know she will. <laughs> She's a persnickety kitty. <laughs> She's not, in fact. Only when you don't call her by her proper name. Davina got me some candy. I love Godiva chocolates. And yes, I have gotten into it. One, one piece of candy at a time. And she made me... These are Mother's Day gifts. She made me a couple of necklaces. You know she makes jewelry. Um, I think we should hang them on MP Casey. No. Because I don't want to get caught. Yeah. So that's that, pretty. That's one of them. I like the green she chose. It's a very pretty green. It's kind of the color I've been drawn to lately. Mm -hmm. Oh, the pearl of the... Yeah, the pearls. It's so nice. Mm -hmm. Davina has a really good eye for jewelry when she's not going all blingy mm -hmm. you know when she's not going outrageous with the size and stuff if she if she's thinking about what the other person likes now this orange one is very similar to one she made me and me too she's used these beads for me before I, I really like these particular beads is that pretty because you know I don't have any owls no no owls I wonder if I can wear probably might not, might not show my... yeah let's put it on you a minute and it's a magnet because yep. is is Al facing the right way, Mom? I can't tell. I can't. No, oh, I don't think so. Okay, so let me turn it around. Yeah, there we go. You're on. Thanks. Okay, so and this is a nice length. I don't like it like right up. Yeah, I think way. she'll like. She'll be so happy if you wear that today. <laughs> okay, so that's that. So she was very generous with me. Um, my. Husband, well, let me show you first. 
Taya got me some socks. <laughs> it was a special educator edition for, uh, say, for uh, John's Queen. This, I, think, I think this is Down Syndrome. It is. And Apparently they have girl superhero ones for Down Syndrome, too. I'm sure they do. Uh -huh. This one's Autism Awareness. And I think this one is us. I think it might also be Down syndrome because he's got Downs. Down syndrome, yes. Yeah. So that's kind of cool. That was that was I enjoyed working with Down syndrome children and people. They were very sweet. Mm -hmm. um, and then my husband. Oh wait, she she also got me. To, this is also from Talia. It's she it's, said it's a hand sanitizer. Yeah, it's uh came in the it was a whole special educators kit. I actually have a uh, hand sanitizer similar to that that the pharmacy I work for gave out. My husband, I'm, I'm always impressed by what my husband remembers. Oh, wait, you need to tell them. Oh, yeah. My husband was talking, we talked about, um, I was telling him there was a sale going on today at Hobby Lobby for 30% off of yarn. And he says, um, oh, that's good for you, right? And he looks at me and says, oh, but that's acrylic. You don't use acrylic, right? <laughs> And that was really cool because he actually listens to what I'm saying. I was really impressed because, you know, I said, well, no. He said, why don't they carry your, your indie yarns in the in the um, big stores? I said, well, I don't know. I, I guess they can only have so much room. I said, well, I guess that's just, they're not, they're for the hobbyists, the not serious crafters. <laughs> it was really cute. I was I, impressed. I think someone took him and did a body swap for a second because <laughs> usually he says to me you know, what, what are you doing and he's like and I started answering he's like I lost interest about five minutes ago <laughs> so, <laughs> so he paid more attention than we paid five. yeah I think he likes to yank her chain but anyway he got me some stitch markers because he heard me complaining that I didn't have enough stitch markers and he got me um this is really nice I've been looking at this for a while the story of Mary it's a, a video set I hope to start this uh, tomorrow uh, when I do my Sunday time with Jesus. It's the St. Benedict Press, Queen of Heaven, Mary's Battle for Souls. And it's a four-disc set. You've got Fatima, Lourdes, Guadalupe, and Mother of the Church, Queen of Heaven. So I'm looking forward to this. And then um, he got me this... Let's see. Um... I can't find my little, what are you looking for? My little holy water thing. Did you? <laughs> I know I put it in here. Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> my newest animal is a sloth because he's adorable. And my husband got me this putty stuff that helps you work your hands. You know, if you, I think it's meant mostly if you're um, stressed. Whoa. Okay. Oops. <laughs> anyway, he's he's going to get me more because he said that this one isn't, it's really too hard. And for my hands, I need something that's a little more pliable. Here, that came off. Yeah. So you're meant to, you know, squeeze it and it's just a is little. It, is it very hard? Oh, yeah, that's kind of hard. It's kind of hard. So he's, hard. so he's getting me a little bit of a softer one. And so... What I'll do is, when he gets me that, it's kind of like silly putty, uh -huh. but not with the properties of being able to, shape you know, sh and, well, not being able to, what I used to do with silly putty is you used to put it on a comic strip, and you'd pull it off, and you'd get the comic strip on there. Would it remove it from the page at all? Or? It made it faded a little uh -huh. bit, because it's taking the color off yeah. and everything. So what, he, what he's done is he's ordered me one that's a little bit easier to deal with, because he took it out to soften it up a little bit for me. He said, you're not going to be able to do this one. And I don't have weak hands necessarily, but I have an injury. Yeah. So this is the can. I just love it. Because <laughs> I said, I want to keep the can. <laughs> it's okay. And then he got me this for my, um, for my car visor. It's um, an auto visor clip for angels, guardian angels, protect us on our journey. Um, he got that. And it says, uh, basically, the person driving this car is a Catholic. Yeah, please, please call a priest. A priest in, accident, in, uh, in event of an accident. And then he got me this. He finds the neatest things. He got me a little holy water bottle a couple of years ago for Christmas. This goes on your keychain, and you open it up, and you put the holy water in here. 
You are perfectly equipped now to deal with vampires. I'm not worried about vampires. I know I'm being a jerk. This is holy water, so I don't have any holy water just yet. I have to put some in here, but I'll put it on my um, on my uh, keychain, and that's for my husband. And then he got me this, which I thought was kind of neat. He he had me, got me a book like this similar, but it was kind of the patterns are really bad. Really this. this is these are birds, and they're knitted flat. Whoops! Whoops! His bunny. Oh, okay. Here we go. Uh, you gotta take your drink. You gotta take your drink. You said oops. Ow. <laughs> that doesn't count as oops. Mm. These, I guess, are all the birds. I haven't had a chance to really look at it. And you knit them flat and seam them. They have, um, some of them are really awesome. Like, some of these are, most of these are color work. Yes. You have birds in traditional sweaters, spring birds, rare birds of paradise. I mean, look at the detail on the back of this one. Isn't that pretty? Well, even if you showed the front ones with the glasses. Well, I will. I haven't gotten to that yet. Um, let's see here. If I can find the one with the glasses, because they're cute. Oh, they're guys that do this. Oh, really? Huh. See? The book is called uh, Arn and Carlos. Is that the guy that um, Sue mentioned? I think so. The guys. Yeah. Arn and Car uh, Carlos, Field Guide to Knitted Birds. Sue, is this the person you were talking the to? The people. Talk, the people you were talking about, Arn, Arnie or Arn and Carlos? I feel like you might be right. Yeah, look at those sweaters. I bet they did those, oh, too. Oh, I bet they did, too. Um, I'm trying to find the one with the glasses that Taya was talking about. Well, they're in the front page, too. The front uh, cover. They're nerdy birds. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. But I wanted to show you something else in here. They're just a whole bunch of birds. They're just all gorgeous. They're beautiful. And you can get an idea of the basic pattern without looking. See, that's flat. Mm -hmm. um, and then... I want to show you something real quick. Duplicate stitch. I mean, these, these guys are showing all kinds of stuff. This is how you make, they show how to make the, the stand for the feet with the wire. Wow. I mean, it's just very, I'm really impressed. I mean, I'm going to have to work up to this, but it's just amazing. They have birds with hats, birds with scarves, birds with sweaters. Look at this. I mean, how cute are those? Mm-hmm. So I got this, and that's my Mother's Day stuff. I know that um, Talia said I have a, a yarn skein or, t or two coming in. Well, I mean, whatever, you know. Not coming in. It, we, basically, she has to choose it because we didn't get to stay at the yarn store. Yeah. My prize from the local yarn shop we went and got last week is Barocco Ultra Wool Fine. 100% superwash merino. This is fingering sock. It's two, five skeins of 400 yards each. So there's 2,000 yards of skein of, of yarn in here. Nice. And you can't really see the color. It's called stonewash. It's not gray. It's a bluish, gray. Bluish, purpley gray. Stonewash. Kind of like a stonewash jean. Mm -hmm. and it's really pretty. Because um, I was wondering, like, oh, I like gray, but you know that much gray might be, you know. But this is absolutely gorgeous. It's kind of gorgeous. like a lavender undertone. It's just really, really pretty. And I don't know if you can tell with the... They can't really, but it's really pretty, guys. It's just... Let me see if I can pull one out without messing things up. See if the camera will cooperate with us a little bit. This one here. Can you see that it's... I feel like the prettiness still doesn't come across. But you can see that it's not quite gray. It's de it's coming across when I'm looking at it here in the light, more of a blue-gray or uh -huh. blue-purple, almost like a slate Yeah. with a little purple under it. So it's really, really pretty. I really like it. I'm excited because I never win big prizes like this. Mm -hmm. So... It's the one time I did win a big prize. I thought I never got the prize. I know. So that's that. And the only other thing I have to show you for acquisition is something that I ordered... And I forgot I ordered it, and I'm like, what came from <laughs> from Europe? I ordered some stitch markers from, it was the last of my my birthday money. Mm. I ordered some stitch markers from Rosie Retro Yarns and Fibers on Etsy. Okay. And she's really fun, because I bought the, the stitch markers. 
stitch markers are in here. I haven't even... Whoops, oops, there's a bunny. Indeed. The tea is all gone. So these are the stitch markers. Whoops, oops. again. I don't have any more, so I can't keep... Them. There's water. Yes, I'm busy right now. Okay, she really wraps this up well. Are those bunnies? No, llamas. Yeah, no, llamas. And all I did, they're, they're a set of 50 stitch markers, regular ring stitch markers. You like those a lot better than I do. May, well, I need it for the things that have like 2x2 two two or 2x3 two ribbing. ribbing. Mm -hmm. And she, it's a great big package of 50, and they fit up, the, up to like a 13 needle. Mm -hmm. And I like that because I do sometimes even use a 13. So she gave me this, but not only she stopped, she didn't stop there. She gives you a little extra. So she gave me, isn't this cute? Hmm. These, an extra ring one, two extra little hangy ones. She gave me some, I'm not sure what this is. It's a bunny of something, I don't know what it is. Yeah. It looks like a button, Mom. Yeah, it's a button inside. Okay. So she got a button that she gave me. It's a little... It's a little flower button. Little flower button. It's so cute. Oh, I can use that for my baby sweater if I ever finish. Look at that. It's a little button. Mm -hmm. She sent me that extra. She sent me these three extra stitch markers. Fresher... Those freshener. Like tea or something. Or wipey. I don't know what this might is. might be a wipey. Yeah, this is a wipey. Oh. Um, and a tea. Pure chamomile, chamomile tea. So she sent me all this extra... Very, very swift. I ordered this, and I didn't expect to get it as quickly as I did, because mm -hmm. it came from England. And her shipping was reasonable and everything. So I will definitely use her again. Her name is... Rosie Retro. Rosie Retro. She's on Etsy. It's rosieretro.etsy.com. And there's her... Um, picture. Picture. Thing. Her thing. Um, I don't know if she's on... It's on... Uh, it's on um, <laughs> gosh... I don't know if she's on um, Ravelry. Ravelry. Mm -hmm. RosieRetro.etsy.com. So if you need stitch markers and stuff, you might want to check it out. Especially for she had some pretty um, other ones as well, but I like these, and I was having a hard time finding these where they weren't like some are this size, some are that size. Mm -hmm. I just want them all to be the bigger size. I can put them on the smaller size if I want to. Mm -hmm. And if I find that I'm using really small needles, then I'll maybe look into getting the smaller ones. I don't need those. I can use the plastic ones that you know come in the set for that. Mm -hmm. So this was kind of cool. I was very pleased with uh, her shop. Okay. Let me just kind of move this out of the way because we have the donations to show you. And this might take just a little while because we, um, if you don't want to see the donations, um, then we can say thank you for joining us and mm -hmm. all that because we do have a lot of donations. Oh, I did get some... Uh, some more yarn in the uh, I think the one that came in right now is fingering weight um, for my shop mm -hmm. but I'm not going to show you that it's just you know, it's just yarn in a bear yarn oh thank you everyone for all your sweet comments last week about the um, extended health <laughs> yes stop we what we have decided to do is that if we can if we have that come up we will we will continue because we want to share with you want to be mm -hmm. open with you as much as we can but we'll do it at the end of the podcast just before we say goodbye. Mm -hmm. That way we don't interrupt the podcast and people who don't want to listen to that don't miss the end of the podcast yeah. because they left. So let me um, just get this stuff that we got from this very lovely donator. Okay. Do you know you have a stitch marker hooked to the back of your jeans? Yes. Okay. We want to make sure you knew that it was there. Oh, yeah. MPKC. Okay. All right. So these two big boxes, you see them here to the side came from the very lovely Wombat of Doom. Doom. Patty, These thank are you the very boxes much. of Doom. These are the boxes of Doom from Wombat of Doom. Carrying, but the stuff is not of Doom. Okay. These things... Yes, it sounds bad if you think baby hats of Doom. <laughs> well, they're not just baby hats. Yes. Okay. Charity objects of Doom. There's a nice little card in here that Ty and I read and we're very mm -hmm. appreciative of. But this thing is full, okay? These, she has some slippers in here. These will go to Evan's house, most likely. Mm -hmm. So will the mitts. Yeah. Um, slippers, you know. Some of these bigger items will go to yes, Evan's, Evan's house. Um, there are some really cute little baby hats. I'm not going to show you all of them because... There's a ton of stuff There's in a here. ton of stuff in here. She's got baby booties in here. Hats. Bigger hats. 
slippers. I'm just amazed by all the stuff in I here. I mean, this thing is what? It's got to be... That's a big box. You know, more than 12 inches up and down. It is two NPKCs, <laughs> and it's full. And, and so this is one box from her, okay? Because we'll be here all day if I, uh, if yeah. I show you everything, because I have another box from her. Yep. Oops. Okay. This one is blankets. These are going all to the pregnancy center. Yes, because they are in desperate need of blankets. Look at this. We have one. Oh, that's pretty. One, two. Some of these are, are real tiny baby blankets for like NICU. Mm -hmm. Three, four, five. I really like six. this one. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, that's gorgeous. I'm about to ask for the pattern of that. Six. They're like, there's got to be 10 or, 10 or 12 blankets in here mm -hmm. of different sizes. And these are going directly to the pregnancy center because even though Evans House can use it, our pregnancy center just recently put out a call yeah, for it. Our pregnancy center has put out a call for it that they need them. So we are going to give it to them. Mm -hmm. And we are going and if we find out that, you know, some of the blankets maybe can go elsewhere, then we will do that as well. But most likely the blankets will all go to the pregnancy center and then all the smaller items will go or all the uh, bigger items. The bigger items will all go to the Evans House and some of the smaller items might if we have a yeah. lot of them. So because we have these two boxes, we have a box down there, and we have a box in Talia's room that all have to go to the pregnancy center now that appointments are slowing down. Yes. So we're excited about that. You guys always come through for us. Mm -hmm. So we are very, very grateful for your generosity. Um, pa uh, Patty, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you very, very much. Um, okay, that's that. <laughs> all right. I think... <laughs> we might be done. I think we might be done. Um... I guess that's it. I guess so. Okay, so we are planning on podcasting again on Saturday, which is the 25th, I think. So um, we do want to, before we say our goodbyes, we want to thank everybody who commented either on Ravelry or on YouTube. I was all caught up, and then I looked on the thread real quick and realized that Sunshine had posted. So, Sunshine, I did not get to you yet, <laughs> but everybody else. And thank you for letting me know you got your packages. I'm glad you liked mm -hmm. them. Um, the, um, we thank the ones who also commented on YouTube. That's Wombat of Doom 53. Wombat of Doom. Doom. Pat, Catherine, Eileen, Renna, LNS Crafts, and Sue. Thank you for, thank for you. Um, commenting on YouTube. And if you comment on YouTube since I you know, saw it last and I didn't see you, I apologize. Thank you for commenting. So we want to wish you all a wonderful week full of knitting, crocheting, whatever it is that makes you happy. And we hope to see you back here for the Fun in the Woman Cave next week. This is the Pen, Hook, and Needles podcast episode 355. And that's a wrap. Bye.